Hey, Mutt Mutt here, and uh, well, I guess I'm outdoors. So this is a little bit of an outdoorsy tip, a little bit of an indoorsy tip, and is getting to be Thanksgiving, right? Okay, so turkey, Thanksgiving staple, right? Bacon, why do I have that, huh? Well, I figured out something that's really nice and interesting. I want to share it with everybody else out there. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people out there going, oh my God, turkey is going to be so dry, right? Okay, here's the reason why turkey ends up dry. Turkey is a very lean animal to begin with. All turkeys that we use are young turkeys, right? Young turkeys are not fat turkeys, okay? Young turkeys, they are grown, they are harvested. That's it. They don't have time to sit there and go, hey, Lear, let me build up a little bit of fat, you know? Got to get that fat with a little bit of age. So what do we do? We take and we add something into it to make it less dry, have a little bit of fat, and boom, flavor, right? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and I'm going to grab a couple of gloves. I use uh, blue nitrile gloves. Um, my wife was allergic to latex, so that was just what I got, and that's what I default to, and that's what I use, so why not? All right, two, after I have on said gloves, I'm going to do something really, really different. Now, I will say that you do not have to use bacon. This is just my little way of doing it, and sometimes I brine a turkey, sometimes I just dry season. Just really depends upon what I'm in the mood for. Um, I cook a lot, and actually, here pretty soon, I have another channel that's going to be coming available where I do some cooking. Um, for those that don't know, I am very eclectic. I like to be outdoors. I like to work with electronics. I like to work on just about anything. I also have another channel that I'm going to do with little projects and things. Um, here's the big thing. I do all of this at as low a cost as possible. DIY. All righty. So here we are. We have our turkey. Now, if you look up in here after you get your turkey pulled out, there's a piece of skin here. You take this guy here and you pull that skin away. That's the reason why you have your gloves on. Okay. So I'm going to take and I want to make a cavity in here underneath the skin. Turn this this way so I can actually do this. And you'll see that I just slowly work my hand up and in here. Now, this is not pre-done, okay? This is not going to be done for you, so I'm going to show you while it's all happening so you can kind of see. If you feel or uh, in here, you know, you can take and slide your fingers back and forth. There's going to be little areas where it's going to fight you a little bit. You just got to take and you just got to slowly press. You will get that skin to work out away from there. And when you get a nice cavity in there, you might even be able to take and work your leg way over in towards the leg area. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The thermometer, make sure that stays in there. Probably don't want to move it around, so yeah, leave that guy alone. All right, so I got the one side done. I'm working my way on through the other. And eh, a little bit more difficult with the thermometer in the way there. All righty. But I will make it, oh, thermometer slipped under the skin. Now, here's the thing. If the thermometer slips under the skin, don't worry too much about it. But you must pull that thermometer up and out from underneath of the skin and stick it back through the hole that you got through there. Um, otherwise, it may not pop out and you won't have your temperatures right. So now I've got a cavity made. I'm going to take it. I'm going to grab my bacon strips. Um, depends upon how many you want to put, um, you know. What you're going to need, these are thick cut, a little bit on the fatty side. The more fat on there, the better it's going to be, believe me. And that's just folded in half. And we'll just tuck them on down in here. Grab another one here, and we'll do the same thing right next to the first one. And what's going to happen is, is as your turkey cooks, the fat is going to render out. And that flat, that flat fat is going to flavor and is also going to moisten your turkey, um, mainly in the breast area because, well, that's that's the area that people complain about. So, eh, let's see here. I think you get three on each side. Normally, I use oh between eight and ten. Just really depends. Um, do you want this to be like super, super, super thick in there? No, you you do want uh, there to be a little bit of room. Folding these in half. That's oh about a half inch or so, maybe a little bit more than that. Well, we get those guys down in here and feel for our temperature probe. Yeah, probe, I know. Somebody out there is giggling right now because 
Oh my god, he said probe. Yeah, no, sorry. And, yes. Got another one going in here. Um, so, a little bit of talking about other stuff. Um, I have not been posting a whole lot of videos here lately. Why is that? Well, um, because right now I've got a lot going on. When um, the temperature gets to a certain point, it becomes my, hey, it's time to get some projects done season. And to get those projects done, I need nice weather, and it wears me out. Um, I just, I, I, there's a lot of times where I just don't even want to get up in the morning because um, I am just wore out. So, um, a lot of other things take and hit the back burner. Um, and I don't have anybody that's going to come out and uh, do this stuff for me, okay? Um, I have yet to see a roof fairy. I have yet to see, um, you know, a, a group of people going around saying, hey, oh yeah, your house is looking pretty rough. Here, let me take and, and fix that for you. So I have to do it myself. Um, that's for myself, my family, you know, and that's just what it is. Uh, so hopefully, Everybody who is watching this and, and, and stops by my channel understands and is okay with that. Um, I also have a lot of other things that I do and, um, you know, different projects. I cook and, and work on different stuff. I have a little solar heater that I made because, well, my first one, which was an experiment, worked really well. And um, I like to be warm. And if I can do it for as cheaply as possible, I'm going to. All righty. So now, if you look here. We have bacon all the way through here. We have our temperature probe still in place and the skin pulled down around it. We want to hold that skin down in there and in place. That'll work. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? Brown sugar bourbon. This is the flavor that I've chosen for this year. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off one glove. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to give this guy a sprinkle here. Set this underneath this plate so it don't go flying away. All right, so um, Grill Mates McCormick Brown Sugar Bourbon Seasoning. Love it. Good stuff. If you never had it, give it a try. In fact, try a bunch of different seasonings. There's, there's all kinds of things out there. It's well worth giving it a try, okay? So we're just going to take and we're going to come out over here and we're going to sprinkle that guy on. Actually, let's open up the other side and let's really sprinkle her on. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. And we're going to get a good amount of seasoning in there. Get it on over in here into the legs, get it around into the wings, and then we just give her a little bit of a rub. Rub that seasoning in, spread it around, get it to stick in there good. All right. And that is turkey a la mutt mutt. <laughs> I guess, maybe, sort of, kind of, something like that. Anyway, so we'll give this guy a little bit of a rub in there. Um, some people will do a salt and pepper, some people will do other things. This is what I like to do. I'm going to take and I'm going to give a good sprinkle down here for the, the cavity. Um, now, remember, if you do um, if you do stuffing, you're not actually supposed to stick it inside of the turkey. You know that, right? Yes? Hopefully. Okay. Uh, reason being, well, it just does not work out very well. So, and we'll go ahead and lift this guy up here. And we'll do the same thing for the back. We'll take and we'll just spread that all around out in there. And we're just going to take and we're just going to rub this all over. Now, I am not cooking this turkey today. This is, uh, what, the Wednesday? So tomorrow is turkey day. So this is probably going to sit, uh, oh, for probably about 10 or 12 hours in the refrigerator. And so all this seasoning here is going to have a chance to take and absorb in through the skin, help flavor a little bit, and do some other stuff there. So... It's almost like getting a brine on there, but no soaking, okay? You let it sit there for a few hours before you toss her in. Um, method, cooking method. Uh, use whatever you want. If you want to take and do, um, you know, a, a long, slow cook, uh, that's the process that I use. Uh, you can. Um, there's all kinds of different ways of looking it up. Uh, the one that I use, I start off at 500 degrees. And then I think I turn it down to like 350 and then it cooks for about 12 hours. Um, it's a real slow process. The, the initial cook is to just take and get everything kind of seared and sealed and everything. And then we go on from there. All right. So 
I think I've got that pretty well rubbed in there, pretty well seasoned. We're going to go ahead and grab the legs here and give her a flip around. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, there we go. Stand her up. And, yeah, all right. And then we'll give a little another, another little bit of a sprinkle on here. Just a little bit, just to get some flavor going on that. And uh, so, you know, if you don't want to use bacon, um, make a compound butter. Take your favorite seasoning, get some real butter or margarine, if that's what you prefer to use. Mix them together. Get it to, uh, it's going to be salty. It's going to be a strong flavor. Take and rub that on in here. Uh, rub it around. Get up in between the breasts there and, um, you know, use that. If you want to do something else, do something else. Um, I know a lot of people use thyme. I know a lot of people um, use garlic. Um, there's all kinds of other stuff. And, um, you know, if you brine your turkey and, and that's the flavor that you like, just take and spread it and just put a little bit of butter down inside of there. Rub it around, smear it as, um, as your bird cooks. It's going to take and it's going to pick up that flavor. So anyway, that's it. Um, what did that take me? Five minutes, 10 minutes? Something like that, somewhere around in there. It's not a hard process, and time is your friend in when you're doing this cooking. The longer this guy sits in the refrigerator, taking and uh, picking everything up for those flavors, the more flavor it's going to have available. There's tons of different things you're going to be doing there, and cooking, it sounds scary. Okay, I'm going to make it sound scarier. Cooking is chemistry. Seriously, it is. You are taking something, you're seasoning it with different compounds okay so you're you're taking and you're adding salts and 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 all kinds of other organic compounds and then you're applying heat and changing what it is that's chemistry people it's scary but it's not that bad all right so hopefully you guys already all have all your birds thawed out and you're taking and right now getting ready to prep this and you're seeing this video and you're saying oh my gosh this is what i've got to do okay um, so get out there and get stuff going. If you haven't thawed your bird, get it thawed. Do not pull it out on the counter uh, and set it on the counter. It's not good. These things need to thaw on a refrigerator. If you can't thaw it in a refrigerator, hopefully you can get it thawed in a microwave. Um, I've done quick thaw processes where I use warm water in refrigerator. You take warm water, you take and pull your bird out, leave it in the bag, drop it in the warm water for 10 minutes. Pull it out, stick it in the refrigerator, let it chill back down, okay? That's going to help and it's gonna to help to thaw it through, do some other things, pull it back out, same thing. Look up recommendations. I am not the best person for all that stuff, but I read recommendations, I try and go by them, they're there for your protection, okay? It's that simple, hopefully you've got everything out, this is going to work. If you've never had bacon on a turkey like this, it's amazing, believe me. You're gonna actually even get a little bit of a pink area right in where that bacon sat because that smoke that's gonna come out of the bacon is gonna go into your meat, all right? Anyway, hopefully this has been a good tip for you guys out there. Um, I would appreciate anybody who likes it. Throw in a comment. Hey, this was great. This was amazing. This was awesome. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I wanna bring you guys more of this type of thing on another channel. This is not really an outdoor channel. so. Mutt Mutt's Bar and Grill. Look for it. More of this stuff is going to be coming out there, and there's going to be some other things, tips, tricks, um, different things that I do, different things that I like, different things that I enjoy, things that I want to share with everybody else. I want to make your guys' life better. This is one of the ways that I can do it. All right. Anyway, take it easy. Have fun out there. Bye. Hey there. Wait, don't, don't, don't. Please don't click stop. Wait for just a few seconds, all right? I got something I want to ask you. Something I really, really, really need you to do, okay? There's going to be a link up there. Click on it. Watch it. Just a little bit, okay? Preferably the whole thing, okay? I want to take and start doing some good things. And I'm standing outside getting ate up by mosquitoes right now because guess what? I need your help. I can only do so much. I know my content isn't the greatest for the dive videos. Remember, diving, first is the dive. Second is your buddy. Third, rescue diver. Everybody else around you. Fourth, everything else that's going on. Okay, I have to put the, the recording videos 
down low. And I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to figure things out. It takes time. My idea, however, to take and help other people is very, very, very real. If you guys help me get this channel grown, I'm going to make things better. I'm going to make life better for some people out there. And it's going to make life better for me too. I'm a wounded healer. I was mentally, physically, and sexually abused as a child. I have been through things that can be considered unimaginable. I lost a son who was born three months premature and died at nine days old. My wife passed away February 28th of 2019 after a little over 10 years together. And I tried to revive her. I started CPR and I broke her breastbone. I felt my hands hurt the woman I loved. There's a lot that went on up there. There's still a lot going on. But one thing that I know that I can do is I can learn something that I really love and I can teach. I would appreciate your help doing it. Okay, so click that link. Watch the video. If you don't believe me, it's fine. If you do believe me, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Okay, please. All right. Thanks very much. I'm hoping you that you enjoyed the video and you will do those things for me. All right. I'm out of here in two and a half minutes.